Welcome to this tutorial on statistics using GeoGebra. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use GeoGebra to perform one variable analysis to calculate different statistical parameters, two variable regression analysis to estimate best fit line, multiple variable analysis to calculate different statistical parameters. Here I am using Ubuntu Linux Operating System version 16.04, GeoGebra 5.0.481.0-D. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with GeoGebra interface, Statistics. Statistics deals with data analysis and interpretation, measures of central tendency, measures of dispersion, Comparing Variability of Data Series Please refer to additional material provided along with this tutorial. Fish Feed Let us look at an example. A fishery is testing four types of feed formulations on its fish A, B, C and D. Data to be collected after feeding the fish for six months are Length in millimeters, weight in pounds, girth in millimeters. Let us look at some of these data. Fish feed data. We will use these data for our analysis. Please download the code file fishery data provided along with this tutorial. I have opened the GeoGebra interface. Click on View Tool and select Spreadsheet. Click on X at top right corner of Graphics and Algebra Views. This will close these views. In the code file, drag mouse to highlight length and weight data from columns H and I. These are data for fish that have been fed formulation C. Hold Ctrl key down and press C. Click in the top of the spreadsheet in GeoGebra. Hold Ctrl key down and press V. This will copy and paste the highlighted data from the code file into GeoGebra. Place the cursor on the first column header in Spreadsheet View. Drag and adjust column A's width. Right click on column A heading of length millimeters. Select object properties. A dialog box opens. Click on text tab and change the name to length millimeters hyphen C. Close the dialog box. Similarly, add hyphen C to weight pounds. Adjust column B width. Click on column A heading of length millimeters C. Drag to highlight length data in spreadsheet view. Below the menu bar, click on one variable analysis tool. A data source pop-up window appears. Click on analyze button. A data analysis window appears. By default, a histogram is plotted. Drag the boundary to see the graph properly. The length is plotted on the x-axis. The number of fish that are of a particular length, the frequency, is plotted on the y-axis. Note the display box above the graph containing the word histogram. In the display box, click on the drop-down menu button to display the list of plots. We will stay with the histogram option. To the right of the drop-down menu is a slider. Drag the slider from left to right to go to 20. The slider changes the number of rectangles between the minimum and maximum values of data. 
click on Options button to the right of the slider. Under Classes, check Set Classes Manually checkbox. This displays Start and Width text boxes to the left of the Options button. As all the fish are over 800 mm long, type 800 in the Start text box and press Enter. We will stay with the default value of 5 for rectangle width. Uncheck Set Classes Manually checkbox. Under Show, uncheck Histogram checkbox to make it disappear. Scroll down and check Frequency Polygon to show it. Under Frequency Type, check Cumulative option. The default count selection shows the cumulative frequency count for the data. Drag the slider and note the effects on smoothness of the cumulative frequency count curve. We will drag the slider back to 20. Under Frequency Type, uncheck Cumulative and under Show, uncheck Frequency Polygon. Under Show, Check Histogram and click on Options button again to hide the window. Above the Histogram text box, click on the third Show Data Tool button. This displays all the data highlighted in the spreadsheet. Drag the boundary to see the data properly. Click on the Show Data Tool again to hide the list. Above the histogram text box, click on the last Show Second Plot Tool button. The same data are graphed in two vertically placed plots. You can select plot types from the drop-down menu button above each plot. Above the histogram text box, click on the second Show Statistics Tool button. Statistics for the plot appears as a panel in the middle. Drag the boundary to see it properly. Box Plot Box Plot is a standardized way of showing data based on the five number summary. Let us compare histogram and box plot. In the box plot, locate the median, min, max, q1, and Q3 values. Above each plot in the upper right corner, click on the button next to Options. A drop down menu appears with which you can copy each plot to clipboard or export it as an image. Click on Show Statistics Tool button to hide the data. Close the Data Analysis window. Least Squares Linear Regression, LSLR Changing an independent variable X changes the dependent variable Y. LSLR predicts Y based on X value. Least Squares Regression Line, LSRL, is also called the best fit line. It is given by Y equals B0 plus B1X. B1, the slope, is the regression coefficient. Coefficient of determination, R squared. R squared ranges from 0 to 1. The closer R squared is to 1, the better is the prediction of variance in Y from X. Let us go back to the length and weight data in the spreadsheet in GeoGebra. Drag and select all the data in both columns. Under One Variable Analysis, click on Two Variable Regression Analysis tool. In the Data Source window that pops up, click Analyze button. A Data Analysis window appears with two plots. By default, the upper plot is a scatter plot and the lower a residual plot. Click on Show Statistics tool to see the statistics. 
drag the boundary to see them properly. Below the statistics window, click on the regression model menu button and select linear. Note the red line in the scatter plot. This is the best fit line that passes through as many points as possible. Its equation is given in red at the bottom. This R squared value indicates good fit between the model and the actual data. Select other regression models to see effects on the R squared value. The lower plot is the residual plot. Residuals are the differences between observed and predicted values of all points. Above the statistics window, click on the last switch axis button. For the scatter plot, length is now plotted along y axis and weight along x axis. Observe that the best fit line and many statistics change. Its equation is now y equals 9.91x plus 684.3. The only statistics that remain the same are r, r squared, and rho. Note that r and rho are greater than 0 0.8, indicating positive correlation. Weight increases as length increases for fish given feed C. The relationship is strong and well predicted by the best fit lines. Again, click on Switch Axis button. At the bottom, in Symbolic Evaluation, you can enter a value for X to get a prediction for Y. To get logical predictions, we will enter X values above the X intercept. In Symbolic Evaluation, in the text box for X, type 800 and press Enter. Note that a Y value appears next to the display box. The X value was substituted in the best fit line equation to get the Y value. Again, click on Show Statistics Tool button. Close the data analysis window. Let's go back to the length and weight data in the spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet, select all the data in both the columns. Under One Variable Analysis, click on Multiple Variable Analysis tool. In the data source window that pops up, click Analyze button. Box plots appear in the window. They are for length and weight data. Above the plot, click on the second Show Statistics tool. Statistics for both plots appear below. Place your cursor on the boundary between the plot and statistics. When the arrow appears, drag the boundary to resize the windows. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to use GeoGebra to perform one variable analysis to calculate different statistical parameters, two variable regression analysis to estimate best fit line, multiple variable analysis to calculate different statistical parameters. Assignment Perform statistical analysis for weight and girth data given in this tutorial. Four oils were used to deep fry chips. Amount of absorbed fat was measured for six chips fried in four oils. Is any of the oils absorbed more than the others? The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. 
This is Vidya Iyer from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.